Last minute. The USA sent fighter jets to Ukraine. According to breaking news, the Ukrainian army announced that the Russian invaders were repulsed in Izium and the town of Marinka was recaptured. The Kyiv administration, which acquired Russian-made tanks and the S-300 air defense system, also got new jets before the Donbass war began. Russia's long-awaited attack on Donbass began along a boomerang-shaped line of about 500 kilometers, with the United States and its allies preparing to announce a new weapon aid to Ukraine. Most of Donetsk and critical areas of Lugansk are still under Ukrainian control. For this reason, Russian forces are trying to besiege the powerful Ukrainian troops in the east by approaching from the north, south and east. The next target of the Russian invaders, who managed to enter the critical city of Izium, is the city of Slovyansk, where 125,000 people live, on the M03 highway. This city, too, was besieged by pro-Russian separatists in 2014, and then recaptured by Ukrainian forces. After Slovyansk, Kramatorsk is just south of it. According to the U.S.-based Institute for the Study of War ISW, Russia's plan to seize all of the two regions will, probably fail, if Ukraine manages to stand up to Russian forces in Slovyansk. The Ukrainian military, on the other hand, announced this morning that the Russian attacks in Donbass were repelled and successful retaliations were made on many front lines. According to the statement, Russian invaders targeted Ukrainian troops and critical infrastructure facilities in Kharkiv. The attack in Izium failed with heavy losses from the Russians. The Ukrainian army managed to retake the town of Marinka in the Donbass from the Russian invaders. A U.S. official said President Biden could announce a major arms donation in just a few days. When journalists asked if more heavy weapons would be sent, Joe Biden replied, yes. The aid is expected to reach $800 million, as in the previous package. The amount of weapon support provided by the USA to Ukraine since the beginning of the occupation is $3 billion. The Pentagon, on the other hand, officially confirmed that fighter jets were sent to Ukraine. Spokesman John Kirby said, the Ukrainians now have more aircraft than they did two weeks ago. This is no coincidence. It's because they can procure the aircraft types they know. Russia had warned the US and its Western allies that they could be directly involved in the war if they sent heavy weapons to Ukraine. How many warplanes were sent to Ukraine and the origin of the planes is not yet known. However, it is considered that the jets are of Russian production. The Kyiv administration requested Russian-made MiG-29 warplanes from Western countries, and these jets are in the inventory of some European countries.